Hi everyone, I'm Lottie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have an intense Pilates, full body, abs, glutes, back, everything. You've asked for it. It's what you want, so it's what you're gonna get. So remember, just take it at your own pace, at your own level, enjoy it and have fun. Let's get working hard. So we're gonna come um, to a seated position. We're going to just start with our legs together. So you want to think about the ankles together, knees together, and not the shoulders together, the shoulders stay apart, but feeling nice and connected all the way through the center line of the body. We're going to start with the hands behind the backs of the thighs, lovely, strong, lengthened spine. We're going to take ourselves into a C curve. So still keep that length. Tuck under with the pelvis, shoulders over your hips. And then just taking a little roll back. So the arms will start to stretch. We tip the pelvis under towards us. The legs are gonna stay squeezing together. And then we're gonna curl up and we're gonna lift. And again, we round the spine. We exhale and roll back. Starting with these lovely little roll backs. It's gonna get more intense through the abs for this first section. And we're gonna lift the chest. And again, so that lovely C curve. Now remember, if you are new to Pilates, there are lots of routines on the channel as well that might be a better place to start. Um, so make sure you check those out too. If you, even if you wanna go back to the basics, it's really important to do that um, whenever you can. So have fun with this, but look after yourself and obviously make sure you're understanding the Pilates basics as well. So there are some routines for that. So let's go all the way. Now, we are gonna add a little arm circle. So challenging ourselves with some arms. So we're gonna reach forwards. We're gonna tuck under, curve the spine. We're gonna roll back about halfway. We're gonna take the arms out to the side, not too wide. We're gonna bring them up by the ears, curve it forwards, and then sit tall again. So we find that C-curve. You want length in your C-curve. So if you think about the crown of your head and your tailbone reaching away from each other, you roll back about halfway. You don't change it as the arms go to the side. Your arms come up, you round forwards, and we sit tall. Good, and we go again. Think about the arms reaching away from your back. The back reaches back. We roll back about halfway. Shoulders stay relaxed as we take the scoop circle up by the ears, squeeze the legs together. We lift tall. We've got one more scoop. So I'm pulling back, tummy pull it in, lift through the ribs, and we go back, legs stay together, we open, we scoop up really hard to do the arm circle, maintaining that C curve, we reach forwards, now we're going back again, we're going to hold the arms in this little ballet position, so bend the elbows, palms facing in towards each other, we're keeping a C curve, don't stick the chest out, don't stick the ribs out, gather everything in, the right leg is going to lift, we're going to extend it away, and bend it in, Extend it away and bend it in. So you're in this scooped, curved position. We're going to add a little backwards as the leg extends away and a little forwards and a little back and a little forwards. Working through the inner thighs, through the abdominals. Whew. Good, that was three. We've got four. We're going to do eight. Five. Don't usually count up. Six. But that's what we're doing. Seven. And eight. Excellent, let's pop it down. Let's come back up. Reset, we've got the other side. Find that C curve, arms reach away. We roll it back about halfway. The left leg is gonna lift. We'll just do the leg to start with and then we're gonna add the little back and forwards. So we go again, we go eight. I'm counting backwards now, that's better. Seven, feels more natural to count backwards than up when you're teaching Pilates for some reason. Last five, I guess because then you know You've got less to do. Last four, last three. Keep deepening through that curve. Two, navel to spine. We've got one more. We bring it up, we place the foot down, we roll, we lift. Good, we're gonna take the legs a little bit wider. Now, I used to do this little section in my classes that I used to teach called the body, which was at years ago, anyway. Let's not get carried away. But um, everyone loved it because it works the core and the abs. So we're just going to find this wide position. Arms are wide. We're going to round our spine. We're going to come back 
Now don't go back too far to start with because we're gonna be taking it back slowly. So we're in a C curve, we're gonna to rotate to the right. Imagine you're holding one of those big Pilates balls or a big beach ball. Maybe you are at the beach and you're doing this. That would be nice. And then we twist towards the left. We come to the center and then we go back a little bit more. So we tuck under, we go back a little bit more. And then we rotate from the chest to the right. We come back to the center. We rotate to the left. So we're taking that ball with us. Don't leave it behind. We go back one more inch and we carry it to the side. We carry it to the center. Don't worry, we're coming onto the floor in a minute. We carry it to the other side. We come back to the center and then we rest ourselves all the way down. Well done, good. So we're gonna go into some Pilates footwork. And it's called footwork, but really, without the reformer, it just works your abs even more. So we're gonna imagine we're sort of doing footwork on the reformer. So we're gonna take our legs through the same sort of sequence that we might do. So first of all, it's flexed feet. So flexed heels, heels away, your legs are in tabletop, toes are up to the ceiling. And let's just check we're in a nice neutral. So we've got our pelvis level, just pop the hands there. Both sides of the waist are long and lengthened. I'm gonna interlace the hands behind there. So create that little hammock right at the nook or the back of your skull, not on your neck, just sort of at the base. Hold the head. So we're coming up just a little bit. Don't come too high. So you want tips of the shoulders curling up. You wanna feel that rib cage kind of tucked up and under, pelvis is level. We've got footwork, eight with the heels flexed. Eight, squeeze the legs together, push away. Seven, six, five, don't lose neutral. Four, three, two, and one. We come back. Okay, now we're going to go pointed feet. So we're like, it's like we're on the toes, yeah? So toes on the bar, pointed feet, Nod the chin, curl back up. We've got eight more. Eight, seven, six, five. Don't lose neutral as the knees come in. Don't lose neutral as the legs go out. Three, two, sink in the navel towards the spine, and one. Rest it down. We've got Pilates stance. So turn pointed feet, turn the knees out to about the width of the shoulders, and we curl up. Oh, this is really fun, this little series. So we're going to go. Eight, squeeze the legs together. Seven, don't lose it. Six, try not to rock on that pelvis. Five, cradle the head. Four, three, keep the feet pointed. Two, squeeze your heels together, don't lose the heels. Last one, and we're down. Now we're gonna go flex feet wider. Okay, so about the width of the mat, that little froggy position. Last set here, we nod the chin. We're gonna scoop up, we're gonna push away. Eight, seven, reach through the elbows in your peripheral version, six, five, four, three, keep neutral, two, and one. Now we're gonna do our point and flex. So we're gonna come up, we're gonna go legs back together, we're gonna come up, we're gonna hold them out, we're pushing away. Think about length here, even though we're in a curl up, we're gonna point and flex, and seven, and flex, and six, and five, and four, squeeze the inner thighs, three, good, two, one, and relax. Oh, work those upper abs, just hug the knees in. Rock left to right, working the stability through the pelvis as we work through the legs as well. So give yourself a little hug, a little release. Really good job, guys. Let's hold onto the backs of the legs. We're gonna rock ourselves to a seated position. We're gonna come onto our elbows. We're still working the abs. So we're coming onto the elbows, getting a little bit of a different position here. We're gonna make sure that we're not sinking down into the shoulders. So really take care of the body, take care of the shoulders, no collapsing. We want that lovely length. We're coming into a little bit of a tuck of the pelvis, gather the ribs. So we're not completely in neutral, we need to be in a little bit of a, a tuck. So slightly lift the pubic bone, come up onto the tiptoes. We're gonna take a little leg slide and a leg unfold. So one leg goes 
down, I got stuck, it was like boom, um, lengthen it and then bring it back. So keep in contact with the floor this time, it doesn't get too sticky. And then bring it back, slide, keep working through the shoulders, long neck, keep that little tuck of the pelvis. Bring it in. Now we can, and actually it might be easier if your foot keeps getting stuck, is keep it just hovering off. It's a little bit more of a challenge. Then we're gonna keep the tuck of the pelvis and we're gonna just alternate these little scissors. It feels quite good to actually hold the pelvis. If you can, just kind of keep it stable or maybe press down. Whatever feels nice and supported. We've got four, bring it in, three, Gather those ribs, two. Good job, guys, last one. Excellent, we're coming onto the back. Ooh, sliding down. We're gonna reach ourselves into some oblique twist in. So we're going to reach across, palms together to the right, back to the center, palms one on top of the other, reach the left. Now it's not a big cross, it's just kind of like diagonally. Do you know, I'm kind of reaching to the bottom corner of my mat not outside of my mat. So try and keep it within the framework of your mat. So just that lovely oblique twist. You're gonna still feel it really working. Exhale, inhale, don't let the knees move around. Keep the knees squeezing together. We've got four more here, four. And then we're gonna finally do the hundred to finish this little section off. And then we're gonna go into some bridging. Last two. Last one, we're gonna to come to the center. We're gonna come up. We're gonna reach the arms away, palms down. We've got the 100. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna do like little bicycles, but with both legs. So we're gonna go up and away. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five, reverse. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five, and relax. Good job, guys. Let's turn the head left to right, releasing any tension that might have crept up there. So we're gonna come into a little bridge. So we're gonna bring the toes down onto the floor and we are going to Bring your heels up, legs together. Let yourself just rest for a moment. Ankles together, don't let those ankles come apart. Ankles together. So we're just gonna take a nice, simple bridge and lower, activating your bottom, your hamstrings. So long neck, arms reaching down. We lift, we lower. So keep in neutral, press through the arms. Lift and lower, good. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, collarbone wide. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. <sighs> Squeeze those inner thighs, drop down, lift up, drop down. Squeeze and lift, lower. Now we're holding up, we hold up. We're gonna hold it there, check your position in. We're gonna go down and up for 10 and up and nine, keep working through the center, eight, seven, breathe, six, squeeze those inner thighs, five, four, three, two, one, up and relax it down, lower the heels. We are coming around to an all fours section. We're gonna work the glutes, the waist, a little bit of everything, of course. So we're gonna come around, just come back, roll onto your side and just make your way transitioning to your all fours. So we're gonna work into the waist a little bit, but also the glutes. So we're gonna start up on the, on the hands. So just take a moment to feel this, feel that lovely long back, long neck, sit bones, reach away from the crown of your head. We're gonna lift our left leg and we're gonna reach it up into a little right angle. We're gonna tap it to the floor, we're gonna lift it back up, and then we're gonna bring it to the elbow without moving anything else, okay? We've got eight, tap the floor, 
Konich. Bring it up, bring it to the elbow, and bring it back. Squeeze the bottom. Six. And bend. So it's parallel there, and then it turns out a little bit, and then it comes back. Okay, push the mat away. Breathe, pull up through the rib. Try not to drop through that ribcage. I've already forgotten what we're on. We've got four more. Four, keep breathing. In, lift, three. Two. So curl the hamstring and then bring it to the elbow and reach it up and back. Last one. Now lift it up. We're gonna come onto the elbows. We're gonna keep both sides of the waist long. We're gonna tap the knee and then we're gonna lift. Tap and lift. Don't sink through the shoulders. Try not to sink through the ribs and lift. Tap, so both sides working, and lift, and tap, and lift, squeeze the bottom, tap. Try not to lean over to the right, and lift, and tap, and lift, squeeze that bottom. We've got four, oh, I can really feel it, and three, and I know what's coming as well. Last two, and then we've got last one. We hold, we extend, we've got circles. So checking in with yourself, reach that foot away. Try and touch the back wall and we circle for eight, seven, little circles, really small, six, not too big, five, long neck, four, three, knees pointing down, two, we reverse, eight, squeeze, seven, six, breathe, five, reach more out, more length, four, three, Two, keep working that whole body. One, and bring it down and reach back. Big stretch. Okay, other side, come back up onto all fours. I'm gonna go for the other side. So the right leg is gonna lift. We've got that right angle, both hips pointing down. We're long through the neck, press through the little fingers, work into the back. So we extend the leg, the, the toe points down. We bring it up. Sorry, don't do that with your head. Bring your knee to your elbow and lift it back behind you. Tap the floor, bend, keep gathering through the ribs, in and back. And we've got six. Parallel and then a little side crunch. Five. Breathe. Four. Lift, three. Two. Press through those arms. Strong upper body. Last one, we bring it in. Now we're coming onto the elbows. Make sure you're in the middle. We tap and lift. Squeeze that bottom, tap and lift, squeeze. Try not to lean over to the left side. Remember, stay in the middle. You're gonna work even more through that lovely alignment if you stay in the middle. We've got four more, I think, last three. Really rely on you guys to making sure that you count for yourself and do the right amount on each side. Last two. On the last one, we hold, we extend the leg, try and touch back. We circle for eight, seven, I can feel the inner thigh here, six, five, Four, try not to drop that neck. Three, no tension in the face. Two, reverse for eight. Seven, reach that leg away. Six, try not to let the rest of the body move. Last four, breathe three, two, and one. Good job, guys. Let's bring it in and sit back. Okay, we are still going to work the glutes. We're just going to keep working them. It's really good. Really good work. So we're going to work to support our hips, our back. And keep working into these glutes and hamstrings. So we're coming into a little side lying section. We're going to just do lots of little variations of the oyster. So really lovely work. So we're going to come onto our sides. We're still going to work through the core and the waist. Hands supported behind the head if that feels nice. 
you can come down, or if you want a little bit more challenge today in your positioning, you can come up onto the elbow, which can feel really nice and lifted through that side. So the first one we're gonna do is we're gonna lift the whole leg in one piece. It's gonna lift and lower. So try not to collapse on the right side of the body, wherever you may be. We've got and lower. So the whole leg lifts in one piece and down and lift. And down. You want to check your hip, 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 hip. Your hip is over your hip. Your shoulders over your shoulder. We've got four, three. Pull back through the ribs. Don't stick them out. Two and one. Now we're going to knock the knees together. So it's a little knock knee position, kind of like the Charleston. Actually, that's coming up. But we're going to keep this one inwardly rotated, and we're going to lift from here and down, and lift, and down. Oh, this is, I think this is my hardest one. Really feel it in the hips. We've already worked them as well on the all fours. How does this feel here? Oh yeah, hard. Last four. Really wants to open up, so try and keep it turned in. Last two. Good, last one. Now both feet are gonna lift. Okay, and we're gonna do the regular clam with both feet lifted, just the regular clam. Nothing fancy going on. Open and close, keep the lift and open. Squeeze those heels together. Feeling into that pelvis, good. Keeping that waist working. Last four. Last three, last two, and now we're gonna do the Charleston, last one. So we're gonna go in and out, in and out, 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 in and out. Keep that length, eight, and open. Why did I say eight, why not four? We've got six, five, four. Keep that full range of movement, what, what you can, three two and one and relax it down give that hip a little rub that can sometimes feel quite nice a little bish bash and then let's come on to the other side so just gently come up and let's repeat that little side lying on the other side so springing the legs around so remember oh it feels like a little massage coming onto that hip now so come on to the other side just remember you want to take whatever option feels good and supportive for your neck your shoulders your body I'm gonna try up here, so elbows down. Not collapsing through the waist, we're gonna lift the whole leg and lower. So we're just gonna repeat these on the other side. We will take a nice stretch after this, I think, for the glutes. So keep lengthening the crown of the head away from the sit bones, lift through that underneath side. We've got four, three, two, and one, now we're gonna go in, okay? And we're gonna lift and lower. Might not get as much range of movement here, actually. So see how it goes. The knee is knocked in. Keep that length in the top side of the waist. Four, three, two, one, good, now both feet are gonna lift. And now we do the oyster, the clam. <laughs> the oyster or the clam. We open and close, squeeze those heels. Breathe, keep that length. I'm gonna try this up here again. <sighs> really keeping that lift. Five, four, three, Two and one, no collapsing. Now we've got the whole Chelsea. We're going to go in and out, and in and out. And we've got eight. We've got seven. We've got six, five, four, three, three, squeeze, two. Good job, guys. Last one. And relax. Give that hip a little rub. Really good work. We are going to keep going. We're going to work the back. 
So a little back series. So let's come on to the front. Okay, so we're gonna make sure that we are keeping a little lift underneath the tummy. The legs are about hip distance apart or a little bit wider. We're just gonna start with a nice bit of back extension. So a mini cobra, not too high. So gazing down, we're gonna brush the nose away. Keep the lower ribs on the mat and just lift the upper back. Toes are down and down and lift and down and lift. Just a little bit, not too high. We need to just feel the shoulder blades drawing together into a V down the back. Front of the shoulders open in. A little bit of press through the elbows. Try and keep a little lift through the center. Crown of the head reaches forward, squeezing gently between those shoulder blades. Good, now reach the arms alongside the body. We're gonna come up, the arms are gonna reach back to the feet. And we come down. And we come up, reach back to the feet, roll the shoulders open. And we come down. And six, inhale, lift. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Keep lengthen the tailbone away. Might mean that every time you kind of do that, you don't come up as high, but that's fine. And then start to get into it a little bit more. We've got two, roll those shoulders open. Reach through those legs. Last one, we're gonna bring the arms back to that little cobra and we're gonna reach forwards just for eight and in. Reach back through the legs, seven and in. Six, five, keep breathing, reach through the legs, navel to spine, four, Three, try and get a little bit more lift between the shoulders. Two, into that mid thoracic. One, we circle, we're doing a little swim. And lift, little swim. Breathe. Keep lengthening that waist. We've got four. We've got three. Like we're swimming forwards, two and lift a little bit higher, last one. Reach back to those legs and bring it down. Good, so you can rest assured, you've worked that upper body now. So we're gonna just come into a little counter pose from that, so legs together, just a little counter stretch. Stretch it back. And we're gonna come into a little hover, a little plank, and then some little side side to side so roll it up so we're going to come to all fours take a deep breath you're working really well so we're working hard but we're keeping it calm so let's come on to all fours we're going to tuck the toes under now i might, I might come forwards a bit on my mat because my legs are going to step back so toes are tucked under nice mobile strong shoulders working into that back so that Postural work, that back work we just did, I want you to feel that here as you're in your plank position. So we're gonna come into a little hover. We're gonna step right leg back, but it's gonna go, it's gonna go a little bit towards the right corner of your mat. So it's gonna go like out into like a little star and then back in. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna find a little hover. We're gonna step to the right corner of the mat, left corner of the mat, into the center, into the center. Right, right, in, in. No, no, right. <laughs> Left, in, and in. You've not got two right legs. We've got four. Keep breathing. Three, and in, in, two. I need to go a little bit lower with my hips. Last one, nice strong back, and in, and in. Let's rest. Sit back, give the shoulders a little roll. We're gonna repeat that. Left, right, in, in. So give your shoulders a little roll. Okay, here we go. Let's come back to all fours. We're very nearly there. So we're gonna hover the knees, shoulders down. We're gonna go left, right, in and in. And keep the back strong. Lift through the ribs. Five. Good, four. Scoop through the ribs, through the tummy. Three, long neck. Try not to wobble that pelvis, keep it stable. Two. 
Last one. In, in, bring it down and rest back. Good little roll through those shoulders. And we're gonna come into a last little waist section. I keep saying it's the last section, I think, but this is. Then we'll do a little stretch and then we'll do some roll downs to finish. So we're gonna take ourselves to this kneeling position. You might wanna pop a little bit of padding under your knee and a little bit of cushion in. So just have that leg extended out. We're gonna reach through the arms, try and touch both sides of the room. So we're really gonna find a nice lift. Like, the head is going up, the arms are going out, you're really expanding. Then we're gonna reach over, we've just got six on each side, reach to the side, little lateral stretch, and up, working through the waist. Five, inhale to go over, exhale to lift up. Four, use that exhale to bring you up. Last three, try and touch the ceiling and the side. Two, <laughs> and up, we've got one more, push those hips forwards and lift good let have a little rest of the arms balance and come onto the other side reaching over we've got six here hips forwards exhale to come up five now don't worry if you're not going too far if you're just doing a little one that's absolutely fine as well last three reach and lift last two Gather through those ribs, last one. Reach out to the sides and bring it down. Well done. Now I did promise we're gonna stretch those hips. So let's just do it in a seated position. So come into a seated position and we're just going to have our hands back, cross one leg over the other leg. So just the ankle. Come into this little glute stretch. <sighs> That feels nice. Now you can, if this is a little bit too much, you can come onto your back. So it will look like this, kind of come all the way down or even on your elbows and just take a little stretch there. Or you're up here can feel a little bit deeper. So if only that feels good, if, if only that feels good. <laughs> it does feel good. Not very good at talking in this one. And then let's change sides. You can stay there longer if you want to because we're coming to the end of the class now. So whatever feels good for you. Nice, deep, calming breaths. So that was really kind of focused on. We got the abs, we did the glutes, we did a bit of back, a bit of waist. And then let's release from there. And let's just come to a standing position. So just come onto all fours. Let's tuck the toes under, press to our down stretch. And we're gonna walk our feet in and we're gonna just slowly roll up, push through the floor. Hamstrings stay active as we roll up, push the hips under. Find that lovely standing position. So lovely standing posture. We're gonna take one roll down to just finish everything off. So bringing it through the center. Exhale, soft knees. Really feel the weight going through the center of the feet. Inhale at the bottom. And then exhale, pick yourself up. Restack that body. And come all the way up to standing. Lift the head up last, roll the shoulders back. And you are all done. Good work, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a lovely rest of your day. I hope you feel good. Please let me know what you'd like to see on the channel, what routines would be good for you. And I'll see you again in another Pilates class soon. Bye.